What's good, YouTube gamers? It's Big M. Uh, I'm doing a pickups uh, video of stuff that I've uh, recently got in the last couple of weeks. Not much in the game department, I don't think, outside of um, the PS Vita, which uh, I did a video on, and um, didn't pick up any games um, as of late. Um, just uh, beat recently beat it. Uh, beat it recently. I beat. Um, Uncharted Golden Abyss uh, Good game, you know, I recommend it. It's not as good uh, and I'm not complaining as uh, the PS3 version, but the graphics are close um, to it um, It's a little get used to uh, getting used to the, the controls, but above all man the game is it, 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 it's it's good I wouldn't say great But that doesn't take away um, of how good the game is so Anyway, I got that out of the way. Um, I got uh, some dual triggers. I lost one on my controller, and I ended up going looking for you know the other two. I haven't opened it uh, because uh, I recently found the one that I was missing. But it doesn't hurt to have a couple, because you never know. You know what I mean? I got this for the PS2, the Getaway. <clears throat> never, never played this game. I know there's a sequel to it. I uh, forget the name of it, the Getaway, and I think it's called Black Monday. So um, got this for cheap. I think it's complete. Um, uh, let me see. Yep. Manual, disc, disc is mint case is not that not as mint but can't complain we'll check this game out soon also I got uh, this a couple of months ago uh, for my PS Go which I don't use <laughs> oh man what a waste but um, I thought I uh, buy this because it was cheap at the time. Yeah, it was like buy one, get one for half off. Uh, it's just basically a screen protector, which is in there somewhere. The cover for your PS Go, PSP Go. Yeah, not bad. Five bucks compared to uh, what I was going to pay a couple, uh, you know, a couple of months before, uh, a year or whatever or so when it, this first came out. This regularly goes for $19.99 so I got it for $4.96 I think at the time and I'm talking about months ago All right, this is probably like uh, I would say probably early December late November that I got this so that tells you the time I took to just make a pickup video so not bad purchase Also, it wasn't necessary, but I also got a screen protector for it, and I didn't know that uh, the other the kit that I just showed you had um, screen protectors as well. Bah, whatever. It's, buy one get one free. It was like two bucks. I think this was this went for an eight, six, seven, eight the bucks. Not game related, but I am psyched that I got this. At first, I was, uh, you know, hesitant to get it because I didn't want to spend 30, 30, 35 bucks on it. But I'm glad I did because it's now a rare, um, a rare piece to find, and that is the Fright Night original Fright Night Blu-ray. This um, this was a limited release. Um, it was from the company. Um, what was that company for? Um, from I, I forget the the what you call it. Um, the vendor name. Uh, 
I think, I don't know, I think it's called uh, Twilight, I forget, Twilight Time, or, I forget, I still get emails uh, about their releases, but this was a, a very limited resi resist release, it was, um, I think, 3,000 copies, and I was like, screw it, I went for it, and I'm glad I did, because uh, in a couple hours that I, that I got it, it was sold out on that website it was that website only and if you look on uh, either eBay or Amazon the the average one goes for like a a good 140 bucks or more so yeah and even if they do come out um, down the line with a release so what I got the this one this particular edition is rare and I hope that they don't release it um, because it will even make it more valuable now they are they are not numbered but if you can see here above the R rating down here limited edition of 3000 units yeah and it still stays unopened and I not I don't think I'll open it I'll leave it as is and I also got a limited edition magnet um, that came with it, which I don't think they were really given away um, as much as well. Let's see if the magnet's here. Should be. Yep. Hard to find. Not bad for. 35 bucks pretty good flick I like the flick it's uh, you know a cult classic for me uh, for those of you that only saw the remake I suggest you check this out it may be cheesy now but back in the days it was scary scary crap that would make you shit your pants when you were a kid and last but not least as you saw my last video PlayStation Vita. I love this console, handheld, whatever. Awesome. It should have been what this should have been. Uh, this was. This should have been what this was. You know? Or what this was. Love them all to death, except for the Go. I, I hardly play it. I play this once in a while. My PSP Go, I love it. But I hardly ever look at this. It's just. I it, don't know how to explain it. It's just a waste. 250 bucks I wasted, and, you know. Eh, whatever. What's done is done. But I love the Vita. It is it's a great um, handheld and and I don't regret buying it, not for a second. And I think that's um, concludes what I got. Oh, I also oh no two things. Got me a couple of these. The Assassin's Creed 3 Special Edition Limited 10. When I heard that they came out with a steel book, I was like, damn. I wasn't going to um, buy Assassin's Creed um, 3. Uh, but I pre ordered it, of course. I, You know, you had to pre order it when you buy the 10, what have you. I bought me a couple of these. I bought um, two of them for myself. One I'll probably keep sealed and this one I'll uh, you know I'll end up buying a game not bad I'm a sucker for steel books whether it's a blu-ray or a game related a nice nice detail also game related I got this book. Fix the camera a bit. 
Bioshock Rapture. I am still in the in the first chapter, but um, I didn't know this was out until I saw Steph's to death video, and I and I was like I was interested. You know, I really love the game. I played the crap out of the uh, out of both console um, versions. Uh, I even have the the um, you know the PS PS3 and the, the Xbox 360 versions. Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2, and um, respectively for both consoles. And I even have the computer, the PC one, which I have yet to open. And great game, I love them. And the book is interesting. It's uh, it's about before Rapture, the start of Rapture, is how uh, how um, it came about. And I recommend if. You guys like to read? I recommend it. It's uh, really interesting. And um, I think that's uh, all that I have um, right now. Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, rate and uh, rate and subscribe um, if you haven't done so. And I'll see you on the rebound. Thanks for watching.